What is up guys, welcome to a new episode of Fully Modded. Um, the Canis Mesa Merryweather edition. Someone actually left a comment on a video and wanted to see this one done. Um, wherever it is, where is it, there we go. Um, who, who left it? Uh, Travis Darner, do one on a Merryweather Jeep. There are videos on how to get it, I need some ideas please. Please reply. Um, so, the way I got it was in single player, um, I don't know if you mean online, I'm not 100% online, I think to be honest, online you might have to phone in uh, Merryweather on someone, then steal it if they turn up in these. But the way I got it was on the mission, quite close to the end of the game, where you have to pretty much kill off all the FBI and the IAA, um, and the Merryweather turn up, it's pretty much like a big old, big old gangbang of like a bit of everyone in the story. Um, and then you had to escape the area after killing all Merryweather and there was like 10 of these sat about so I took one, stored it in Michael's garage and that is how I got it. Um, so we're going to do this, um, there's not a great deal of mods available from what I can remember just because it's so modded as it is, it has snorkel, all the lights, all, everything, winch, like everything's on it. It's sort of pretty much like got all the stuff you'd put on the Benefactor Dobster, um, all that sort of stuff on it. So. Um, we shall go through it. We have 12 mods, 100% armor, race brakes, all, all the standard stuff, level 4 engine, uh, start manual, we'll just put that on. Uh, headlights, we have Xeon lights, neon, neon layout, front, back and sides. Uh, neon color is going to be purple, because I've got a good idea for this one. Uh, purple. Um, Plate is going to be just yellow and black. I always pick that. I just think that's just the best looking plate. To right, primary colour is going to be... I'm going to go frost white. And uh, you'll see where I'm going with this. Oh, that kind of looks good. <laughs> Dark blue looks really good. No, I'm going to stick with what I said. No, we're going race, racing blue with a pearlescent. I want to get a purple in here somewhere. Just to match the neons, I'm probably going the wrong way. Uh, where are we at? Where's the purple? Right, midnight purple, you can't really see it much. Right, bright purple, and then secondary is going to be... I'm just going to leave it at that, black. You can see it shining through now. I wonder if we go, if we go a proper purple, like a midnight purple. Crazy colours you can do with these bars. We're going to go midnight blue. Yep, that looks amazing. Right. Um, it's an off-road vehicle. You wouldn't tend to put competition suspension on it, but I think, to be honest, it, well, it doesn't say braking traction. Um, I don't know if it affects handling, possibly, but we'll put it on because it's fully modded anyway. Race transmission, turbo tuning. Right, wheel type. The standard wheels look the best on this because if you go high-end, you get slicks and it don't look great. It doesn't look good at all. So what you want is off-road, but you notice the difference between stock and then the next ones. It changes the size of the wheel, which is a bad thing. Like, you want the big chunky tyres. Look, so much difference in size. It just looks better when they're massive. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. We'll, we'll stick with the off-road ones. And um, I think the ones that look nice tend to be these. Rock Crawler or Mill Spec Steely. Um, we'll go with a mil spec steely and then we'll change the colour to a, a nice dark purple just to match the bars and neon it's going to probably be like midnight purple or dark purple uh, midnight purple there we go uh, custom tyres come standard with bulletproof tyres and then we'll put purple tyre smoke um, and the windows standard are the limo tint just because it's the private security Merriweather. So we don't need to do that. So there we go. And since I've been started recording this fully modded, all I've had is fucking rain. Um, but look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. It's such it's such a cool looking car. Um, it's a bit shit. Like I, I don't know 100% but I'm pretty sure you can't buy this. But look at the size of that wheel on the back. Absolutely. It just looks amazing. Um, it would have been good if there were some more options, but as I say, it, standard they are pretty much like, there's a lot of mods. I do like the option with the top lights that actually work, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there it is, the Merriweather Canis Mesa, um, in it, all its glory, it just looks amazing. 
Like I say, there's so many colour options you can go on this um, that just look really good. Um, another thing as well, what I, I was, I was, would have been better the neon option. It would be better if they only came on when you put your headlights on, because you tend to use them at at night, um, and having neons in the day is pretty much pointless anyway, because you you can't even really see them now in the light. Um, so yeah, it would would have been better if they'd have just came on with the lights. But as I say, this is a, a great off road, great off road car. Um, it just has everything you need, um, and it just looks really cool as well. Um, so I, I'm not 100% on how you get one online, but that is how you get one on single player. Um, so I hope that answered your question, and I hope you're satisfied with the outcome of this. Um, it is a really cool looking machine. So I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to leave a like, add it to your favourites, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers for watching.